Hey, good morning, friends. Welcome to my reflection for Monday, June the 17th. Today, we are going to take a little bit of a different spin on things. I'm going to introduce my series on animal spirituality. It is the first of what I hope to be many videos on this very exciting and interesting topic. Spirituality is something that feeds us all feeds us all and nourishes our minds, our hearts, and our souls. And I've always believed that we gain so much insight from the animals that we share this planet with. So I've decided to talk probably once a week and we'll see how it goes. I'm going to ask you to tell me what your interest level here is. Give me just a thumbs up if you thought this was something that was helpful for you in addition to our scripture videos. But I'm looking forward to it because it's something that I'm very passionate about. So with that, today we are going to talk a little bit about the importance of creativity. Now, I'm not sure about you, but I remember when I was very young and in school, creativity was a name, a, a word used to define your level of interest and abilities in art and in music and truth be told, I didn't have very much. So I came away with it thinking that creativity was something that I did not have. As the years went on, I realized that creativity was something very important, something to expand your mind a little bit, something to really put your focus into something while you're expanding your mind. And there were benefits associated with it in my business life and my personal life. So I worked on it a little bit, and I think I made at least some strides. Now, maybe this is something that you can relate to. And it's something that I think we can all look towards improving our levels of creativity in our life and seeing how it could add so much value to our spiritual life. So I introduced to you an animal that we're all familiar with, the crow. Now, crows are very smart animals. They are very social animals. They're very smart. They're very sentient. And they know what they're doing, and they kind of lead the curve, if you will, on creativity. So a few weeks ago, I watched a crow from our window here in our home outside figuring out a way to untie and get into the garbage bag. Now, he was extremely creative in the way he did this. He had to turn his body a few times. He had to maneuver the bag a few times and push the ties out of the way to get himself a place where he can put a hole in the bag and get into the garbage. Now, if you're wondering why I didn't go out there and stop him, well, that's a good thing to wonder about. I probably should have, but I was captivated with his creativity. And his success came as he got into the garbage. I eventually did have to go out and stop him. But he did get in there and he, amazing the amount of focus and decisions that he made to use different ways to get into this bag. Afterwards, he flew up on top of a telephone pole and he looked down and admired his job and what he had done. He was proud of his creativity. A few days later, I was in the backyard and I saw a huge crow. I mean, this crow could have signed up to be a united plane. And he was on top of a house behind our house. And he was crowing, he was singing, which is something we don't want to hear at 4.30 in the morning, but you know, I'm a little different. So I was out there listening to him. But I was thinking to myself, he's probably thinking of his next conquest, what he's going to do and what he's going to do creatively to do what he needs to do to get food or whatever the case may be. So crows are very creative and they can teach us a little bit about how to be creative as well. And why is it important to be creative in our spiritual life? Because my friends, I think we need to have different ways of doing things that benefit our spiritual life. And we need to expand our mind a little bit like the crow did. We need to think about is prayer and meditation best for us in the morning? Is it best for us at noontime? Should we experiment? Yes, we should. 
How is our daily journaling? Does that bring us beneficial, spiritual value? Is that a creative thing that we could do? Can we get more creative? Can we put it into a different journal? We need to open our mind like the crow opens his mind into the things that spiritually feed us. And yes, creativity comes in very much so. Now, the other thing I always want to have as a takeaway in these videos is that these animals provide us with so much. All we need to do is to observe them. All we need to do is think about what they're doing and how they're doing it. And then how could that apply to our own life? They're sentient, they're smart, and they really provide us with a lot of value as we share this world with them and do the best we can to bring value to our own lives and the lives of others. Well, my friends, that's my message for you on this Monday morning on the first animal spirituality video. I would love to hear your feedback. I would love to know whether these are valuable and you'd like to hear more animal spirituality videos in the future. I'd hope that you could take this into your day today and be a little bit more creative in your life, all around your life, but especially, especially your spiritual life. I wish you all a wonderful Monday today. And tomorrow, I look to be back with another scripture video. Have a great day, everyone.